it cost very much. It cost. So, would you just tell us what? Because they, they look different colors and they are just like you explained. You have yes. 17 products. Yes. So, let's just get to know the few ones here. Okay. <coughs> like this one here. Mm. This is Bambra Kunu and Tuo powder. Okay. While well, each product, the name is from the raw materials I use. Okay. Bambara is from Bambara knot. Mm -hmm. So this one is specially made for diabetic patients. Okay, so just for the kunu or you could still for the kunu or the two. Okay, true. You can also decide to do my mind with it. Wow. So in how you want to use it. Mm. But any other person can take it. But mostly the oh, patient. Yes, that is the bamba. Mm. Then the other one we have here mm. is the soso group. Soso group. Yes. Soso, sogum, mm. soya, okay. granite. <laughs> soso group. Oh, wonderful! You just drive it from the beginning of the sentence. Just take the first two or three letters of the raw materials. Mm. That forms the name. That's good. And. Every content you see the pictures there, mm. so that if you cannot read at least you could just see, identify it identify <laughs> by the by the pictures. Mm. That's why I put everything there. Mm. So this is a mixture of sorghum, mm. soya, granite. Then this one is ginger flavor. You can see the picture of the ginger on it. Yeah. Yes. And this one is mostly suitable for everyone in the family, mm. but especially pregnant women breastfeeding mothers and children. Wow. Yes. Then we have the soya tea. It is, this is a tea? Yes. This mm. is purely soya powder. Okay. Instead of going to market to buy milk, always, you just use this. It serves. It serves you. It serves as milk. It serves as litten. It serves as anything. Just add your sugar and you take it. That's all. That's your sugar or your honey? Sugar or honey, and you take it. Then we have the soji grow. Mm. That's a red. For the native sogum. Mm. It's a mixture of the native sogum, the soya beans, and granite. And it's the one specially formulated for diabetic patients, for their kunu. Mm. Yes. We also have it in flavors, only that the flavored ones are finished. Okay. We have ginger. I didn't, I didn't add a garlic to this one because of the the flavor of the native sorghum. Okay. If you add garlic to it, sometimes it will make it uh, uncomfortable, yeah. and the person may not enjoy taking it often. Okay. Yes. So, and then this one, we have the. Okay, I've talked about it. Is the soso grow? This is just the bigger, okay, the bigger package, package, package sure. of it. Mm. Yes. Then there's another thing here, which uh, I am not the one that processed this, mm -hmm. but I'm the one that packaged it. Okay. Yes, tapioca. Rapioca, you said? Tapioca. Okay, tapioca. Yes. Uh, we have the cassava here, but unfortunately we don't process gari here. That's true. They process and bring for us. Mm. So, what they are doing to us, I want to use this to retaliate to them. <laughs> they will process the gari and bring. Uh, I will package it and send, send back to Send back them. to sell. Yes. <laughs> this, is this is gari, sugar and milk. You don't need to buy anything. Just buy it. Get your cup and water. Just and straight ahead. Off. Yes. You go for your lunch, whatever. <laughs> yes. There are some other products we don't have. Then this is the garlic. Okay. Oh. You, it's even dried. This is a dry garlic. Mm. Yes. Why I don't use garlic on almost all the products is very costly. Yeah. Yes. Like this little quantity you are seeing here, mm. it's up to 1,000 naira. Oh. And uh, if I grind it, you imagine how much it will become. Very uh -huh. And uh, if I add it to all the flavors and I tell the people the price, it may drive them away. So well, you could do that for those that actually want such. No, I have some products mm -hmm. with garlic on it. Mm. 
But the ones that are costly, I don't add garlic because it will add the cost. Of course. Yes. So these are the basic ones I have. Others are so products that from all these things. Mm. Basically, these are my raw materials. The ones displayed here. The only one. Okay. I so have another thing here. Tamarind. Tamarind. Very interestingly, this. Uh, plant fruit that we find commonly here in the north mm. and uh, many people just know it as a flavor yeah. but if I give you the nutritional content mm -hmm. of tamarind mm. you'll begin to wonder yeah. it's also medicinal mm. yes why I made up my mind to package it mm. is because one because of the storage if you don't store it very well, after some time, mm. some insects will enter. Okay. And then once those insects enter, it begins to lose the nutritional value and before you know it, it expires. Okay. But once it is packaged, it can stay for as long as it can mm. without getting spoiled. Secondly, dust will not enter. And so it's hygienic and you can take it anywhere and use that anytime. So how much does it go for now? For instance, this one. Okay. How much is this? The bigger package is 150. 150. Yes. And the smaller one is 100 naira. It's quite cheap. Yes. Like then this one is 200 naira. It's 200. Yes. This one could, could even take like almost four times for somebody that actually goes. Yes. If you are taking two. only kunu, you can take this up to four times. Mm. Yes. Very very. Yes. And what about this? It's one fifty also. One fifty. Yes. Mm. It's only the other one that is two hundred naira. We have one fifty, hundred naira. Then the paper okay. is just fifty naira. Just fifty naira. Yes. Okay. So what would you say to the viewers out there that actually? Some of them might, might have such big dreams in their mind, in their heart. But sometimes some people, when, when, when challenges make them to like shrink, they don't want to really take a bold step to just do what you did now. Because you could have all this in your mind, but you don't want to carry it out. You don't want carry to do it because of some little itches. So what would you say to such people out there that might have that kind of desire? Okay, when you have a dream mm. and you don't put that dream into practice, mm. the dream will die within you. One thing that used to make some people not to start mm. is because they don't want to start little. Mm. Somebody have a dream to start a business, is waiting to get 10,000 Naira, 50,000 Naira, 100,000, somebody will tell you the business I want to start, I need at least 300,000 to start. Mm. It has happened to me. Mm. I would have started long ago, but I've been thinking, how will I get this, how will I get this? But the only thing is that, one, discover the need mm -hmm. around you. Think of how to meet the need. If you're thinking of meeting need, mm. not making money at the mm. beginning of the business, mm. nothing will stop you from going into it. Most of the businesses we are seeing around, we don't need much to start with. Even if you have a business that you need much capital to start with, start with something little before you go into that one, bigger one you are looking for. At least there's a step and you, you're already in it. Yes. So you just know how to go about it gradually, little yes. by little. And before you know it, the sky is your limit. It's your limit. For our income, for our economy to be actually bigger and stronger, we need people that are self-reliant, so that the issue of unemployment will be solved. Because Mr. Lan is actually doing a wonderful thing here. That he puts breakfast on our table. You could, you could equally take. You have that of lunch. You have.